It was all about connecting job seekers, industry and educators. A three-day expo wrapped up at the Civic Centre today, hosted by the Prince George Nachanko Aboriginal Employment and Training Association. It's one strategy being used with hopes of filling a trades gap. Pulled together in a mere three weeks, the Trade Expo of 2015 is a testament to the sheer will of organizers in bringing all the parties to the Civic Centre over the course of three days. The foundation for the Trades Expo 2015 is relationships. We really want to, to showcase a lot of uh, Aboriginal talent that we have out there. You hear of the skill shortages that are happening within our labour market and the projections of skill shortage for 2022. So what we're looking at is really providing opportunity for a lot of our First Nations job seekers through career exploration. The expo was put together by the Prince George Nechako Aboriginal Employment and Training Association. A large part of its mandate is education, trying to address industry's needs via training. We develop those specific programs to meet their needs. At times we also help them with their needs determination and we tailor those programs to so that they can alleviate those, those, those problems that they're, they're anticipating in terms of the skills gap. Geography is one of Pignata's biggest challenges. Their mandate covers a huge footprint and providing education to all the communities within it is simply not feasible. Enter technology. We will be able to, rather than physically be in one community and then go to other communities, other people can tap into the line so multiple communities can access the training there. So, uh, it's more far-reaching and effective, we anticipate. As was mentioned, the Trades Expo is all about building relationships, employers with employees, students with teachers. If all the ingredients are pulled together, Pigneta hails it a success. Once you've actually had a chance to explore some career opportunities and look at some training opportunities, where do you go for the funding? What next, right? So today's panel, which consists of our leadership, our education and our finance, is the last leg. So if you walk away with a concrete plan on, on where you're going to go from here and we've got you into school and you're starting today, that's a success for us. Carla Wright says once employers knew what the Expo was all about, it came together in very short order. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.